Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. No, I hope you lot are all doing well today. I really do hope that. Welcome back to the channel and to today's Chelsea News video where I'll be talking about free footballers related to Chelsea Football Club. Ooh, or are they all related to Chelsea Football Club? Well, the first being Kepa Reed the Balaga, next being Olivier Giroud, and Aubameyang, man. That's right, Arsenal's Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang gonna be out of contract with the Gooners. What's he gonna do? Could he come to Chelsea Football Club? It would not be the first time we've seen an Arsenal player come to Chelsea after being frustrated in North London and then eventually winning stuff at Chelsea. That would be nice. He's not young anymore, Aubameyang, and it's not necessarily the greatest signing in the world in terms of a long-term investment, but it worked out with Giroud. Why not? I mean, he could still re-sign for Arsenal, but it could work out. Anyway, I'm going to get into all of that in a second. Shout out to all you man who are subscribed to Football Therapy. We are on the road to 50,000 subs. Incredible scenes. If you are a regular viewer of my content, I'd urge you to subscribe to Football Therapy. Hit that bell notifications icon. And why not like this video, please? Let's get into it, man. Let's start off with a big French man himself, Olivier Giroud. Chelsea Football Club are exercising a clause that they had in his contract that I'm not sure many people knew about. Basically, they're extending his contract for a year, so they've got him for another year. Like I said, this sounds like something formalized, a trigger of a clause, rather than Giroud asking to sign a new deal. I think he does want to get away from Chelsea because he wants a deal that offers multiple years, probably with quite a decent bit of money. Obviously, Giroud, in January, he accepted terms from a couple of clubs for a transfer, although when he got put in back into the Chelsea team, he played very well and he had a very good professional attitude and looks pretty happy at Chelsea. I think he wants to go. So, would he be frustrated that Chelsea are triggering this clause so he has to stay at Stamford Bridge for another year? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he's just happy to play on. But maybe he feels frustrated because this might make him miss the chance to get this move that he's been looking for for more money set into Milan with who knows a three year deal which would seem mental for a man his age. That could be the case. Or, or Chelsea are just protecting their investment. They still might have every inclination to let him go in the summer but simply by doing this clause they're basically saying look you're not a free agent anymore mate. Into want you, they're gonna have to pay some of them peas, mate. Which is obviously just smart business acumen generally, right? Like, suddenly Giroud, World Cup winner, you know, he's been good for Chelsea of late. He's been in good form, really. You don't lose him on a free. Now you can sell him for, I don't know, five, eight million pounds. That's a lot of money. Or maybe you have a little bargaining chip. Maybe, maybe you have a little bargaining chip if you are really serious in the acquisition of Lautaro Martinez from Inter Milan. You can say to Conte, hello mate, look, we're going to forget about you suing us for just a second and we want your striker, you can have this striker, we'll give you loads of money as well, let's make this work. We'll have to see, man, but it's a possibility. Either way, Giroud at Chelsea, another year, officially, but not unofficially, formally, you get what I'm saying, man. Another year on the contract. All right, before we talk about ESPN's sources about Aubameyang to Chelsea and Matt Law's opinion on Aubameyang to Chelsea, let's talk about Kepa Uta Balaga. This is another story that Matt Law spoke of, the journalist close to Chelsea. He believes Kepa will be given a second chance at Chelsea Football Club going into next season. We all know the story from this season. Kepa disappointing, some high profile mistakes, some weak wrists dropped by Chelsea coach Frank Lampard for a 38 going on 39, was he 39 year old Willy Caballero? Still old. Bit of a sort of shaky backup keeper, good shot stopper at times. But the world's most expensive goalkeeper in Kepa was dropped for a month, you know, a bunch of games. News headline story. So you can forgive the world football media for assuming Frank wants Kepa out, and this might still be the case. But the truth is, he is the world's most expensive goalkeeper. We are entering a very peculiar financial landscape this summer transfer window, if and when it opens. And it is not a seller's market. Oh no, no, no. It is very much a buyer's market. And you are going to look to make catastrophic losses if you try and flog Kepa. Now, I maintained maybe some sort of loan could work that would actually increase his value where he could go somewhere and do really well. 
but I've also maintained that I think he's a very good and talented goalkeeper, just one out of form and unsettled for some reason. Still, Matt Law speculates and talks about how Kepa will be given a second chance at Chelsea and how Chelsea will probably get a second goalkeeper. That's what I think. I think Chelsea will buy a new backup goalkeeper that's very, very stable and will offer a safe pair of hands behind Kepa if Kepa's form falls off the cliff again, yet he will be given a chance to be Chelsea's number one moving forward. We've seen him make super saves. We've seen him be good with his feet. You know, when, you, when you're lacking goals, buy goals up the pitch, keep Kepa, see what he can do. Hopefully, he sort of becomes what everyone knows he can become, which is a really good goalkeeper and Spain's number one. Well, he is Spain's number one, or he was Spain's number one. You get what I'm saying? Obama blood clut young. <laughs> right, Obama young man, absolute marksman of a centre forward. Superb at Dortmund, of course, and superb at Arsenal, man. I remember watching him play for Dortmund and I really wanted him to come to Chelsea and then I sort of cooled off and then Chelsea were actually linked to him for what, 57 million? Chelsea said no, Arsenal came in turns out it was a good investment for them. I remember when he was still at Dortmund in the latter days, he was rumoured to have a really bad attitude problem, skipping games or skipping practice to go to fashion shows in Milan, and like, you know, he got disciplinary things go against him when he got benched for Champions League games. It did seem like shades of Marau Akadi vibes, do you know what I mean? Like, bad attitude, problem, ah, oh, you don't want him in your dressing room. But to be fair, since his arrival to Arsenal, you gotta hold your hands up, he's been excellent. He's not caused any problems, I don't think, off the pitch or on the pitch. And he's just an absolute gunman and scores loads of goals. He's actually a very hard worker as well. You can watch games when he's running up and down when he plays on the left wing. Loads of industry and just scores loads of goals. He's still very, very quick. That was his like main attribute, running in behind and finishing. He can still do all of that. And he's out of contract. Now, it's speculated down the line that he might sign a new deal at Arsenal or might move on, but a lot of people would not assume he would come to Chelsea. Of course, Chelsea are a big London club that are looking for a centre forward that would probably give him a high value contract, but he's over 30 years old. In fact, he is 30. So where does that leave Chelsea in terms of giving him a contract? What would they do? Offer him two years max? Aubameyang could go to a big European club and probably sign a four-year deal. Like, you know, if Real Madrid really wanted him or just a big club wanted him, he could probably get four years or at least three years. Chelsea, probably at a stretch, would break their own rules and give him two. Would he want that? I don't know. Would, Ch would you as a Chelsea fan want a 34-year-old at Chelsea on a high money still. I'm not sure either. Obviously, he relies a lot on pace at Bamiang, even though he's a good finisher. I feel like Chelsea missed out not getting him when Arsenal got him. And in many ways, I think Bamiang missed out maybe not coming to Chelsea because Chelsea have won stuff since, you know? Nah. ESPN are reporting Chelsea are looking at him, a source told ESPN. Matt Law published an article saying he thinks Aubameyang would be very good for Chelsea. I am inclined to agree because if, he, if they could come to an agreement where Chelsea give him a two, three year deal or two and a half year deal, I don't know if you give someone a two and a half year deal in a summer, but something where he could say, all right, I'll come to Southwest London and score goals for you. That would be great. And I'll tell you what, that'd be great because we've got a very young and promising centre forward in Tammy Abraham. He's of that sort of age and experience where you can show him, look, just do what I do, mate. Run in here, occupy this space. You will bang goals, my friend. That could only be good for Chelsea Football Club, for Tammy Abraham. And maybe for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as well. Maybe the man can, you know, win some trophies and everybody wins, right? I don't trust anything ESPN say, really. So off the bat, <laughs> <laughs> this is a speculation story, but we know players from Arsenal have gone to Chelsea before. It's not some like t overly taboo thing, so it could happen. Um, I don't think he particularly owes anything to Arsenal. He's scored loads of goals for them. They haven't won anything. There's been some turbulent times behind the scenes, whether it be management, fans or ownership. And, you know, the dude might just want to do something else now. Maybe he could go to Chelsea. We'll have to see. Watch this space. Make sure you swing by football therapy every day. And I'll, of course, keep you updated on all these news stories. So anyway, what do you guys think? I want to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below me. Aubameyang to Chelsea. Could you see it? Would you want it? 30-year-old, but a gunman. Let me know your thoughts on that. 
Let me know your thoughts on Giroud's contract extension. Would you like to see him play out the year or is it just to a means of protecting an investment and of course comment on Kepa Aruta Balaga. If you've enjoyed the content please do like this video that means a lot make sure to subscribe if you're new we're nearing 50k mental scenes indeed. Uh, what else let's do some housekeeping follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter and come subscribe to Yann's Yard my sister channel for daily 6 p.m. live streams playing FIFA 20. Link in top of the description. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's not happening, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.